Let's look at how to edit a case. A few details of the case can be edited right from the case's listing grid. We can edit the title of the case by clicking on this pencil icon which appears once we hover over the case. Let's do that. Click on the save button after modifying the title and the changes should be reflected. Similarly, we can change the status of the case by clicking on the status column. A drop down menu will appear and you can choose the correct status. You can also edit the steps of the case by clicking on the edit steps icon that appears next to the key of the case on hovering over the case. Let's do that. Clicking on it will open the edit steps window and we can make changes to the steps that we want to do. For now, let's just delete these three steps and click on save and close out of this model. Let's see how we can edit any case attribute that cannot be edited directly from the cases listing grid. For that, let's click on the case key to go to the case details page. On the case details page, we can click on edit to open the details in edit mode. There is another way of doing the same thing. For that, let's go back and right click on the row of the case that we want to edit and then select edit from the resulting menu. We land on the same page. Here we can make the required changes to the values of the case attributes. Let's make some changes. and click on save to save the details. We can also make changes to the requirements. We can unlink the requirement and link another requirement. We can attach files if we need to. In this case, we are not going to do that.